everyone. This is the great Lord and Master Osiron, the Eternal, uh, or the artist formerly known as the Great Roberto, for yet another video. I'm sure everyone's getting goddamn sick of this, but it just keeps revealing. So, so, you know, the things just keep revealing themselves in this. I have to, I have to document it. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> This shouldn't be a long video. This, you know, I mean, this is basically just a cool little, you know, tidbit, I guess. You know, it, what it shows is how the Osiron's tree, or the true tree of life, and Osiron's jewel, or the jewel of creation, work together. And it actually shows how Osiron's jewel is a mirror, is a reflection of divinity, and it shows that through the numbers, which is beautiful. So what that is saying, so when they say that we, we human beings were created in God's image, well, the numbers back that up. And both the tree and the jewel working together corroborate that. Let's see how that works. <clears throat> Trying to avoid shadows on the board. Okay, well, we see up here Osiron's tree, and below that we see the jewel. Well... A couple days ago, while staring at a different version of this, a different picture of this, I noticed that if you envision the jewel as a mirror of the upper sephirot below the nine, then it does some interesting things with the numbers and the elements. And over here, this other tree that I have shows what's going on with that. So here's the tree, and this is like a reflected mirror in a pond or something like that, you know what I mean? So you have to basically tip it back up, like here's the tree and here's the reflection, you got to tip it back up onto itself, and when you do that, the numbers do some really interesting things. The, the top triangle, the supernal triangle, cancels each other out with nine, all, all the numbers produce nine. Same thing with the uh, lower triangle. And I know this is the uh, supernal, this is the ethical triangle, and this is the, I forget what they call it exactly, but it's the astral triangle. I think that might be what it is, the astral. But then again, I can't even be positive that those you know, Jewish names are correct, because I just haven't looked at that more in depth. That, that could be wrong, too. But, um, so this cancels each other with nine, this cancels with nine. But the middle triangle, the one where um, the heart of the tree is, does something very interesting. They both cancel, they don't cancel each other out to nine. Instead, they both balance each other out completely with eight on the feminine, and eight on the masculine, and then two in the, where uh, Tippereth is. And then when you go over here and just sort of uh, analyze that triangle by itself, you see what's going on. 8 plus 8 becomes 16, and then 16 reduced becomes 7, and then 7 plus 2 becomes 9. So the, the whole uh, you know, center triangle eventually cancels itself out to 9, but it doesn't do it right away. You know. So that's interesting. And, the, and then again, you see with 16, there's still the separation of the feminine and the masculine. This side over here is the 1. In this case, the 1 represents Kundalini. And the 6, which is the masculine mask of Kundalini, is coming from the masculine side, where 6 would reside anyway, according to, according to the tarot trumps. Because um, if, if, you, if you recall uh, the tarot trumps on the I Own the Tree of Life video, you know, shows that the uh, pillar of Boaz becomes three, the pillar of Yaquim becomes six, and the middle pillar becomes thirty-six, which becomes nine. So, and, and we're seeing you know a similar variation of that here. So, and then we're, you know, next to this, what I have written is just the sephirot that are involved using both the tree and the jewel. So in Kether here we have zero and nine, in um, Bina, we have 1 and 8. Chokma is 2 and 7. Uh, whatever the fuck that goddamn one is. Uh, Gabora is 3 and 5. 
My brain, his came from a run, his came from a really good run, so my brain is a little bit off right now. I can't even think of this goddamn Sephiro, but whatever it is, it, it, uh, it's four and four. Uh, Tipperoth is five and six. Um, Pod is six and three. Netsack is seven and two. Yassad is eight and one. And of course, uh, the kingdom. In both cases, I, I drew the kingdom as a hexagram. Because, I, you know, as we see in this material world, the hexagram in six shows up all over the place. Honeycombs, you know, fucking Saturn, South Pole, you know, all kinds of structures, you know, show up as six. In, you know, all kinds of snowflakes, everything. It's all over the place. So I drew that as a six to represent that. And over here, the same thing. I drew that like that, and then I drew the, the enclosure around this as a six. And also, if you notice, around... These, I drew the circles using two colors, you know, blue for feminine and red for masculine. Because that's exactly what happens with this pillar. The pillar of Boaz starts out feminine, and then with the pole flip, it switches from feminine to masculine. And the same thing with the pillar of Yaakim, it starts out purely masculine, and then after the pole flip, it goes from masculine to feminine. And the same thing with this, you know, middle pillar. You know, one number is a feminine representative on the, on the true tree, and the the uh, jewel of creation is a six, and that's you know feminine to masculine. So it shows the continuous oscillation of you know the the, mas the feminine and the masculine. So that's why I drew that like that. And also one thing over here I want to add about the elements. There's two ways you can look at this because you know if you recall from other videos, I suggested that the real order is water, fire, and then an air. And now, if you look at it as a mirror, that doesn't corroborate that. But it's sort of, it, it's, it's a mirror that doesn't have to follow that rule. And, and again, you know, I'm still toying with the idea that the masculine and feminine energies do continually oscillate with each other. So in this case, it's showing that it's, it's not a mirror. In this case, it's the opposite. The reflection is the opposite. But if it was the other way, it would be a mirror. But... Um, but this still makes more sense. This absolutely still makes more sense. You know, the waters from the unknown. You know, the zero represents that. And then the action of it is the fire here. And then the air. And then here. Now, the, the, the kingdom, as they say, is an exact analog of the human body. Because it starts out with the whole thing is the body. Just like our body is a whole, you know, our whole body is a body. And then in the top triangle, the supernal triangle is black or air, and it represents the mind or the head or the brain. The middle one is blue, and that represents the heart and the emotions. And the lower one is the sex, the fire, the sex. That's exactly what we have. We have our brains, we have our heart, and then you can't see my hands on my fucking ditch. But it's um, the sex, you know, the fire of the sex. So, so this jewel, the jewel of creation, is, exa is exactly what we are. We, we are the jewel of creation here. And we are created in God's image. That's just, you know, one way to look at it. Yeah, so this should be a short video. As a matter of fact, this might be it. I just wanted to sort of get that out there. Again, I wasn't even going to make a video about this because there's actually a lot of things I don't make videos about. But again, I wanted the imagery the picture. Yeah, you know, I wanted it drawn up. I wanted the imagery drawn up for future reference. But you know, one example of thing. I mean, um, on the Osiron spiral or the uh, Osiron tarot spiral, I got pages and pages of notes that never made it in the video. And one thing I do want to point out about that. So if you watch that, if you go back and watch the Osiron tarot spiral, one thing about the numbers that's amazing with that, if, if I can recall offhand, you know. The house of Libra, which is in the proper order, is the uh, seventh house. And what is Libra? But the scales, the scales of balance. That's associated with Libra. Well, the numbers in there, all of them are balanced out. Uh, the cards that go, the tarot cards that go there, first is the ten, right? And then next is justice eleven. Well, the stacked root of the cards that fall in the ten spot is 55, which is of course balance 5 and 5, and then the next number after that stacked root is 66, 
okay, which again is balanced. And if you add 55 and 66, I think it becomes like 121. And that is all perfectly balanced. Every one of those goddamn numbers is perfectly balanced. And even the jump from the stacked root of Virgo, I think it's 45, to the stacked root in Libra, which is 55, if you add those up, it becomes an even 100. So there's a lot of really, really wild things going on with that video. So if you haven't watched that video yet, go back and watch that because I'm actually going to toy with end screens in this video, so I may add that in the end screen for people to watch. So thank you and namaste.